Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about magnesium sulfate injection. So the resident physician treatment guide. Uh, if we look and open the portion which contain emergency medicine, here this one is the magnesium sulfate and I wrote about it. So let's talk about it, the magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate which is can also be called MgSO4. Uh, this 1 ampule, 10 ml of ampule contain 5 gram of uh, magnesium. So it means 1 ml is equal to 500 milligram. Now what are the uses of magnesium sulfate? It can be used in migraine headache, acute or status migraine. It can be used in a headache which is because of the intracranial bleed. And it can be used in preeclampsia, eclampsia for fits. And it can be used in acute exacerbation of asthma or COPD. So let's talk about first migraine. So how do you give this magnesium sulfate injection? So how do you write, how do you, how you will write it? In migraine headache, in acute migraine we give magnesium sulfate, also in status migraine we give magnesium sulfate. Status migraine when the headache persists for more than 72 hours, we call it status migraine. So we will write it injection magnesium, or you can say magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, 5 gram for 10 ml. As this 10 ml ampule contain 5 gram, so we will take 4 ml, which will which which means that it will become 2 gram. 4 ml is equal to 2 gram, and we will take the 4 ml. We will take this 4 ml of uh, magnesium sulfate in 100 ml normal saline. So injection magnesium sulfate 4 ml, which means 2 gram in 100 ml normal saline IV over one hour, or we can say IV at the rate 25 drops per minute. So if we give it 25 drops per minute, it will be completed in one hour. Now, a headache because of the intracranial bleed, it can be subarachnoid hemorrhage or intracranial hematoma, intracranial bleed, and all these kind of bleeds for headache and fits. And to reduce intracranial pressure, we can also say that we give magnesium sulfate. The magnesium sulfate, 4 ml, that's 2 gram. This 4 ml and this 100 ml normal saline. We can give it IV uh, two time a day. We can give it uh, 4 hourly, we can give it uh, 8 hourly, we can give 12 hourly. It depends on the patient headache or in raise intracranial pressure. So we can also give the magnesium sulfate in uh, com complication of pregnancy which is preeclampsia and eclampsia for prophylytically of fits. So there are two protocol, one is called IM and the another one is called IV protocol. The injection magnesium sulfate, 8 ml which means 4 gram, in 100 ml normal saline IV over 15 minutes. This is the loading dose for preeclampsia and then we give injection magnesium uh, sulfate, 2 ml which means 1 gram per hour IV for the next 24 hour. So for every hour we will give 1 gram per hour magnesium sulfate for the next 24 hour. So how do we give it? Like if you guys can see the injection magnesium sulfate. Uh, 10 gram 80 ml in 30 ml normal saline IV at the rate uh, we will give a 10 ml per hour this is how do you have to understand this we will give we will take the two ampule of magnesium sulfate which will become 10 gram because one ampule contain 5 gram of magnesium sulfate so we will take 20 ml which 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 mean that f uh, 10 gram of magnesium sulfate in uh, we will take 30 ml normal saline from here if you take 30 ml normal saline uh, and 20 ml of magnesium sulfate which become 10 gram of magnesium so total will become 50 ml so this 50 ml mean 10 ml contain 2 gram every 10 ml contain 2 gram so if we give 5 ml per hour if we give 5 ml hour per hour it's mean that we are giving 1 gram per hour magnesium sulfate we will give uh, IV at the rate 5 ml per hour and we will give it as a in a syringe pump okay now another protocol we can give we can take 80 ml of normal saline and 20 ml which 20 ml of magnesium sulfate which become 10 gram same like here but it will become now uh, 100 ml it's mean that t this 100 ml contain 10 gram of magnesium so every 10 ml contain 1 gram of magnesium for this we can say that we will give IV at the rate 10 ml per hour which means that the patient will receive one gram uh, of magnesium sulfate per hour for TK, so like this. These are the two way, but most probably we choose this syringe pump. This can be very easy. So this is how we give magnesium sulfate in the preeclampsia and eclampsia. Now another one we can also use it in uh, acute exacerbation of asthma and COPD. Injection magnesium sulfate two gram 
uh, we can say 4 ml. In 100 ml lamasalain, I use over 30 minutes. Same like for, uh, for status migraine or active migraine or uh, a headache in intracranial bead. This is the same way. Okay, thank you.